Oh, we got to away from home. Yeah, it's been a long time, hours, days of me putting in a lot of work. I know where I want to go and I know what I want to do in this league and it starts now. holding practices all weekend long up at Grand Park in Westfield, Indiana. Yay! New number, new vibe. <laughs> Same thing though. <laughs> I was so excited just to be out there, but it was also like, all right, I'm still a little bit timid because I haven't played this game in a long time. I had to get the feel of it. Maybe it took me like a weekend or two. Yeah, I had my my rusty days, but I also had my good days. But you can tell every day I was getting better. Like I was finishing some of my plays, and it just like I already knew it was gonna take days. I just wanted, it just wasn't gonna happen right then and there. High five on the X. I know. Ah, Petula was a great help, man. He he was the main one that was helping me a lot. He didn't want to rush me into anything. He always asked me, right, how you feeling? Are you feeling good about this? He was just trying to work around, you know, how, everything I was feeling. There you go. More jab. Jab, jab. Hey, there you go, Dion. Good. That was good, Dion. Yeah, no, not, we don't want to do that too much on that play. Good route. A lot of players go through a lot of motion, like if a bad route or something like that, he comes and try to help you and try to the best way he can to correct it right then and there on the field so you can't make the same mistake twice because he's big on that. Hey, Dion, get back into him more so you're not leaking. Right, you leak for a lot of width. You'll see it on tape. He kept widening you because you never got back into him vertically. Does that make sense? You feel him peek back, turn on him now, all right? Let's go. Dion, good job. Good job. I couldn't be more thankful for him and my uh, teammates and stuff for them for also helping me out through that time too. Hold on once, grew the dreads back. I'm live now. I got my little vibe back. It's time for me to slide out. Hold on, freestyle! Hey, hey, that's a freestyle! Hey, 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 this play coming through. Being in a room like that is something you really want to be a part of. X and Z next play. Jarese is a big help for me, man. He always be there, man. I try to. Try to, he keeps me up, even when I be down a lot, he be like, bro, you got this, you know, you the best person in training camp, all this stuff. A few words of encouragement, that's my guy right there, Reese, that's my guy. <laughs> my boy Reese, man, we taught that every night. I was my roommate doing camp and everything, too. He was always my roommate through everything. He was on the practice squad, and I was on IR. We was just trying to push each other because he wanted to be on the field, and I wanted to be on the field. We talked about everything, just how, like, how we wanted to approach this camp and just really wanted to put a statement to the fans, to ourselves, to our family, like, yo, we could be part of this team and we're gonna help this team win games. We out here, baby, Coast Nation. Stay tuned. <laughs> Good effort, we just gotta keep it up tomorrow. Keep the pace. We don't want you guys. Oh, for sure. Hey, probably y'all boys that first day. Let's go get better on three, get better on three. One, two, three. Get better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get a camera. Get Say hi. Say go coach. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Two days before um, going to the Browns joint practice, um, I think that's one of the days that I probably had my best camp. I caught like four or five deep balls down the field, and then I was just like, oh wow, like. Okay, all right, maybe I could be back. And it boosts my confidence. Maybe I really can do this. It was more just the fact that I was out there playing football again and actually making plays again, so it was good. I finish strong. Go cool. Beautiful.
beautiful day, man. I think we started off that morning, we rode together, listened to our favorite song. It was like, hey, it's the last day, so let's just get through it and perform. <laughs> was that having a monster practice that day. So we caught a nice little bench route, like a deep out. Uh, he got a turn, so I'm like, okay, let's go. We start, we starting off the, off the, off the practice right. And I was just like, man, this, this man Reese was really on it. And then just a freak accident happened on just a, a simple block and play. I literally saw some of the highs of highs and the lows of lows of Dion literally throughout his rehab process. But one thing I can remember, when I was on the ground screaming in pain that day, he uh, he came up and talked to me. He came right on, like literally on the side of me. I was able to take one thing that he said to me. He said, man, you have to keep faith. Like in your rehab every day, keep faith. It's gonna be tough days, but you have to keep faith. Believe, like trust because you're going to get through this. And obviously you see what he's doing now, so like, I believe him. Faith is a big thing that I live by. Me going through my injury and stuff, you're going to think about a lot of things. Believing in your rehab, believing in the trainers, believing in everything that someone is telling you to help you to get back to the same player was was really a key for me to tell him because uh, that's what someone told me when once I went through that whole through that whole phase and I just wanted to read it the same thing to him. You know, to have Dion through this process and knowing that he went through this process is it's a blessing, man. Because like I said, I know you're gonna push me, and obviously, one day our biggest goal together is to you know be out there on the field at the same time. So. He gonna keep on reminding me that so I can keep pushing towards that. I already know that's gonna make him stronger and it's definitely gonna make him more hungry and give him more of that power and he gonna be straight. I know my boy. Being injured is nothing that no player really wants to go through because it's a process and it's something that you would have to be mentally and physically prepared for. Colts and Browns in preseason game number two today. First one and Indy. It's gonna be special. Going back playing football again and it was really a, a really big relief for me. Deion Kane, it's kind of hard to believe it's been just barely right. more than a year since he went down with that torn ACL. He was outstanding on Saturday against the Browns. Game best seven receptions for 80 yards. The speed, the quickness, the twitch. Explosiveness. I mean, he has picked up where he left off. I can't do nothing but just thank the Lord above, man, just for putting me back in my space and got me feeling normal again. We're doing everything we can do to get the first, but understand there are opportunities for explosives, all right? Explosive plays that change the game on third and one. I'm blessed to have Nick Sariani as one of my coaches. He sees a lot in me and that, that I really didn't see into myself once I first came in, and he was just pushing me harder than you know most coaches have ever been. It takes somebody making a play and handling the adversity that you're going through to take us out of the rut. Third and 10 for the Colts to the Chicago 46 yard line. Come on, Dan. The ball's caught. Deion Kane wheels out of the tackle. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. He's going to go. Touchdown, Deion Kane. I've been saying it for two years, that guy's gonna make some plays for us. <laughs>
that's the one thing you that you want to have as a coach to someone to be confident and someone that also believes in you too <laughs> like i said i'm blessed to have nick man that's my guy so good just celebrating with my teammates again man I <laughs> it just can't go through the motions I just opened up my arms and just want to just give it all to the man above because I knew I wouldn't be there without him I told you I had a flashback from Izzy's day versus Clemson. I thought you were at Orange Zone. It's the Colts and Chargers starting out the 2019 regular season. As soon as we got off the bus, I went straight to the football field. Brushed my shoulders down, I'd be like, all right, I'm finally here. Yeah, we worked for too long for this. Yeah, 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 man. Week one, man. It's here. We ready. It was literally a relief for me just to know that I made it to this standpoint. I'm actually glad I took that step back because it taught me a lot more about myself and how can I apply myself to make myself better every day in life and in football.